Hello and welcome to this video. This is part 3. Tuning your engine. On the screen you can see the Nitro Engine Carburetor, the high speed needle being the shiny brass one, the low speed needle being on the edge of the throttle stick, the idle speed screw sticking out the side of the engine. First thing you need to do is warm up your engine. If it bogs straight away and stalls this means that it is running too rich on the high speed needle from the braking in procedure settings. If so lean it out. Once leaned out restart your engine. Now drive it up and down a hard flat surface a few times to get the engine warmed up. Now it is time to start tuning your high speed needle. Run your engine up and down a few times. Take note of the blue exhaust smoke and engine sounds. What you need to do is lean the high speed needle one eighth of a turn clockwise at a time. This will make the engine leaner meaning more air less fuel. This means more performance. After leaning it each time drive the car up and down. Take note of the performance increasing. When the engine bogs, this means it is running too lean. When the engine bogs, this means it's running too lean. So you need to richen out the high speed needle one eighth of a turn counterclockwise to richen the engine. The idle speed screw controls the idle gap. As you can see here, this is your nitro engine carburetor. After removing the air filter from the carb, you will be able to see the gap. This here is your idle speed screw. And this is the carb opening gap that it controls. Turning the idle speed screw clockwise will make the gap bigger. With the gap being this big, this will cause the engine to rev very high and the vehicle may drive off by itself. Turning the idle speed screw counterclockwise will decrease or make the gap smaller. Remember that the carb opening gap should be between 1 and 2 millimetres open. <laughs> 